Okay, so if you're installing Windows side by side on a Mac using Boot Camp, sometimes you may uh, come across this issue where the volume doesn't work on the Windows side. It says that the hardware is installed. It says that it is working properly. It says that it is it's enabled, but you just don't have any sound. Okay, before we can install the Apple Assistance software for Boot Camp, we're going to need to format the flash drive before installing it on there. So come up to the search icon and type in Disk Utility. and find your flash drive. In this case it's going to be the HP. Over here you want to say erase and make sure that you make it a MS-DOS FAT because you're going to need it to be that in order to let Windows see it. Click erase. Confirm that you want to erase it. and you're done. Now we can go ahead and install the software needed to get the sound working on your Windows side of the Mac. You want to go back over to the Mac side of the computer. You want to come up here to the search icon and search Boot Camp Assistance. You want to click on this It'll, it'll bring up the boot camp assistance. You click continue. You want to remove the checks from any of the boxes except for download the latest Windows support software for Apple. Click continue. It'll ask you to put it on a flash drive. This is important that you have a flash drive that you have nothing on it that you want to keep because it will format and erase everything on it. So go ahead and plug that flash drive in if you haven't done it already. It's probably a good idea to have already had it plugged in by now so it can recognize it right away. Click continue. It will download the software needed. This is the software, the drivers, the support information for your Windows uh, side of your Mac. This will take a while to download. Let, let it download, let it be, just be patient, and um, when it, this is done, um, I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, once it's done, it will ask you for your boot camp, or your, excuse me, your Apple ID. Go ahead and enter this in. and click add helper. At this point it's done. You can quit this now. You can leave the flash drive plugged in. Go ahead and restart the system. This time start it up in the Windows side. And um, I'll show you how to install this uh, new software to get your sound working. Alright, thank you. See ya on the Windows side. Once you have booted back into Windows, you're going to go to that flash drive you created on the Mac side. In my case, it's going to be this HP drive. In here you will see a bunch of folders. The one you're looking for is Boot Camp. In here you'll see Setup. You'll also see Drivers, but it's best to go through the Setup. This way it installs any other drivers that you also may be missing, like Bluetooth or whatever. Click, double click that, confirm yes. In my case, I've already done it, so I'm not going to go through the process. But you'll click next, and it'll install all the drivers that is necessary for your system. And as you can tell, it does, my, my sound is back. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Like and share and comment.